Hi and welcome to our Next Level Garments tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to use CorelDRAW with our custom templates on the Next Level Garments website. First of all, we need to go to www.nextlevelgarments.com. In the website, we go to Products. There we have items categories from t-shirts, denim jeans, jackets, polo shirts, sweatshirts, baseball caps and accessories. We go with the t-shirts first. Here we have downloadable PDF templates. We go with the women's t-shirt. We use PDF because PDF is editable with both Illustrator and with CorelDRAW. First of all, right click and then save link as. You save to your preferred location. Now we're in CorelDRAW. When loading the template, we can edit the file any way we like. First of all, I think we need to ungroup all the objects because now they're in one container and so it's hard to edit them. So in this case, we need to ungroup all. By this, we can make all this um, the different splines and vectors accessible. Also, we can edit the colors. This I'm going to show you right now. So now all curves are accessible. Zoom in a little bit. On the left hand menu, we have the different tools. We first need the first tool, the regular arrow and the spline or curve editable arrow. This is what I'm going to use right now. Go to the t-shirt, click it and then you see the curve has editable points. For example, we use this point, we click it to make it editable. And we can drag it all the way along. This one also. For example, if you like to make a long sleeve t-shirt, we use it this way. But right now, we just use a simple editing. So we go back to the regular arrow, to the selection arrow. And then we just change the color. On the right hand menu, there are like Pantone colors and color draw presets. I prefer to go with the Pantone numbers because once passing the file to the factory, the Pantone numbers will give us the most exact results. We go with the sky blue. Okay, what is still missing right now is a logo. So I move back to the main object and then I need to import a logo. We can use any kind of AI or color draw file. In this case, we are using an Illustrator file. So any AI, CDR, JPG, Photoshop, anything can be imported. But we strongly recommend to work with vector graphics because vector graphics are very easy to edit once processing, I will show you just when we import it. Here we imported the file, it's a bit large. So first of all, we need to give it some outlines. 
So we go here to the outlines tool and we just create a hairline outline so we can actually see the object. If we go back, then the since it's an AI file, it is still grouped. So we need to ungroup as we did for the t-shirt in the beginning. So, and in this case, it is more suitable to combine the curves. So we only have one curve in front of us. So let's give it a color. I would like to go with a with a gray. So it should be like somehow silver. So here we go. We need to resize the image. We go down to 20%. and we move it to the right location. There we go. It still has some black outlines, those we're going to remove right now. So we click on the logo and we go back to the outlines menu. And here we remove the hairline, go to no outline. All right. For this, we can later use any type of screen printing. Also, we can use foil printing, especially if we like to have it silver on a sky blue t-shirt, we would just use a flex blue foil. And uh, it's very easy to have it cut because since it's a vector graphic, the size can be enlarged, can be also made smaller but without the loss of quality you have with JPG files. So it can work with, most machines can recognize this file. We can also, it's also very easy to use it with the screen printing and the factory will like you for that. All right, thanks for watching our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Just check out the other ones as well that we have on our website.